Sorry. Hi. Been <sighs> seeing you. Mind if I take a seat? Public beach, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You come looking for me out here? No. Uh, heard you were around. Figured I'd stop by. See what's up. This is my quiet place. I like to come here and think. <sighs> it's definitely a nice view. Yeah, it's clean, uncomplicated. What you see is what you get. Not messy. Yeah, no. Not like that crap the other day. So the more I see on this job, the more it just... The more it makes me question it, you know? Oh, what? What exactly happened? Oh, it was messy. Um... Some assholes, they took a sergeant from the traffic unit. Crazy chase, they chucked him out of the back on the freeway. They ended up racing around Grapeseed, shooting at everything. Um, they, they bailed. Uh, things were real confusing. The air unit got confused. We got confused. One ended up running under the bridge. Um off Main Street up towards Chiliad and everyone just lined up and lit him up. I mean, yeah, sure, they'd been a bad person. They'd committed a lot of felonies, but they weren't a threat. I don't understand it. It just... Maybe it's because I'm so out of the academy still and I... The rule books are my life, but it just felt so... Wrong. Inhumane. I mean, sure, if we'd gone after him and he tried to shoot at us, we could have. It would have been fine. I get it. I don't know, and everything ended up down at the hangar with the Great Seed Airfield, and I had to shoot people, which I hate to say is getting easier. What does that make me? It. It's becoming your deciding factor in the job. Whether or not you want to stay with it, or you want to abandon it. You've come to that crossroad, and it's not necessarily out of the academy or anything. It's more or less the moral obligation that you have, you know? That's not changed. I, I still feel a moral obligation to do this. I found something that I can really help in, that I can make a difference with. And there are so many situations that I felt like I did matter. But it's this crazy stuff and the fact I just disregarded these people as some crazy assholes. It makes me wonder what it's doing to me as well and my compass. Like, it needs doing and we protect people. That's what I love about this. We help people when they need it the most and we protect them. To do so, we have to do horrible things sometimes. It's not the proudest job, but it's not the easygoing, you know, glove clean job either. We have to get down and dirty, just like you said. And unfortunately, especially as of late, it's it's been more of the get down and get dirty versus the, you know, clean, humane way that we wish that we could all go home and, you know, shake it off and not have to worry about it. And then wake up the next day like nothing happened. Unfortunately, though, it it's not like, you know, the best yeah. best advice I can give you. And take it as you will or not. Simply, it's 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 a yes or no question, really. It, do you want this? Can you handle, you know? Waking up 
each day, getting your hands dirty if it comes time to it, or where you freeze up, and then at the end of the night when you go home, you know, can you clear your conscience and then wake up the next morning like it's a brand new morning, like you don't have that baggage or heavy weight sagging you down? I don't know if I can yet. It scares me that it's becoming easier mm -hmm. to, but I don't know the answer to that question yet. And that's something that, you know, like I said, you come to that crossroad to where whether or not you're going to want to keep this job and, you know, continue on or it's the time, you know, whether or not you need to be behind a desk instead of out on the field. No, I can't do that. I, I can't do that, Alex. I, no, no, you can't. I see something in you that you know reminds me of me when I was young. You go get it attitude. You're willing to help and you know teach others the way not to do anything. It's not but that. It's that I'm, too, I mean. I'm willing to suffer the nightmares, the horrible crap for those moments where we do make a difference. Those moments where we genuinely help. The bad is worth it. I'll take um, that on me if it means I can make some people's lives better. Oh, then, Abigail, I think you, uh, I think you just answered the the ultimate question of that crossroad. Maybe. Like I said, you know, you remind me of me when I was younger, you know, kind of on the back end of things, not knowing whether or not what to do, what not to do. And then when I finally hit that crossroad, you know, decided to actually make the difference, make the change, and, you know, continue the, continue the nightmares, continue everything else. Has it costed me some things along the way? Of course. Every job has its perks, and every job, you know, has the places to go ahead and pull certain things away from you. But at the same time, you know, it sprouts new seeds, and ultimately, it gives you the best it can give you. I guess. I just... Uh, Alex, I've dealt with so many crazy people. A guy who thinks he's a Republican space ranger. The weirdest, wildest criminals in this damn state. And at the same time... It's the guy who dresses up like a space ranger and lives at an alien monument that I care more about. It's... The people arguing, the people dealing with the worst day of their life, the the woman that got shot by her asshole ex-boyfriend that time. It, it's the... It's those people that make this worth it. Or make it worse. I... It's hard to get my head around, but I... I don't know how long I'll be able to do this, but I know I have to for now. I've got to. Not just because I'm here and because I've been through the training and, you know, I'm on the job, but because even for as long as I can tolerate it, I feel like it's my duty to. I didn't know what duty was before. I mean, I come from a damn small town up here and I know you're a big city guy, but here everything was about football, about high school, about the teams at school, it was about the town, the people, the summer fair. You know, it was small town BS, but I never understood what understood what a duty was. And I guess and this you is take it. what you learn from here? Well no, you take what you learn from there and use that as your forward momentum. To keep doing what you know how to do. I hope so. I think you have a you have a very good understanding of what you need to do. Keep doing what you're doing. You're gonna and you're gonna you're gonna end up. Uh, <clears throat> what I'm looking for. That hospital message. The greatest uh, cop that you can be. Um, and you keep using that forward momentum to keep doing what you want to do. And sure enough, all the nightmares and stuff, they'll keep going away. And like you said, it's the small moments that count. You know, the more you keep coming into people, 
the more you keep uh, making those connections and so on and so forth, it ultimately gives you the best thing that you can hold, hold on to forever. Yeah, I hope so. I really do. Ugh. I wish I could be out there sometimes, you know. Just out on the water, on my board, not worrying about anything here. Not having to think about coming back and getting on shift. Not having to worry about whether or not I'll come back tonight. About bullets and knives and guns and fists and... I don't think anybody else from my class in high school has half a clue what the world's like. We we shield them from it, don't we? Normal people. We do. Are you honest to God, dude? And like I've told you before, when it comes down to this job, you see the best in people, you know, giving you things, giving you food and, you know, drinks and always thinking you. And you always see the worst, and the worst is, like you said, the bullet, the fighting, the constant arguing, and everything else like that. And, you know, we shield those that are innocent away from that mess to where they don't have to worry about it, and have to worry about in a world growing up where it's just straight up chaos, and they have to lose that innocence versus being shielded from it as long as it can. I guess. <sighs> I... Yeah. I just hope we can. Uh, well, I'm gonna head back in. I need to get to the station in an hour, so I should go and take breakfast home. Alright. Sounds good. And like I said, if you ever need to talk or anything else, like, you have my number. I know. And, you know, don't be afraid to use it. Yeah, just not when you and Alara are being all snuggly. Yeah, she knows the job too. She's usually busy oh, I with know. cases, but... She scares me more than you do. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. <laughs> Thanks, Sanchez. Anytime. I'll see you at work. See ya. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.